Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 29th. Today we mark the death of Thomas Cooper, an English bishop, lexicographer, theologian, and writer. He was born in Oxford, where he was educated at Modeling College. He became the master of Modeling College School, and afterwards he practiced as a physician. But he's more famous for his writing career, which began in 1548, when he compiled the Bibliotheca Eliote, a Latin dictionary by Thomas Eliot. In 1549, he published a continuation of Thomas Lanquit's Chronicle of the World, This work became known as Cooper's Chronicle, and it covered the period from AD 17 until the current time when it was written. In 1559, another writer, Robert Crowley, updated and changed the Chronicle, and then Cooper issued his own updated version in 1560, removing most of those changes. In 1565, he published the first edition of his most famous work, the Thesaurus Linguae Romanae Britannicae, and this was followed by three other editions. John Aubrey in Brief Lives gives the following kind of insight into the creation of the dictionary. It says, Dr. Edward Davenant told me that this learned man had a shrew to his wife who was irreconcilably angry with him for sitting up late at night compiling his dictionary dedicated to Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. When he had half done it, she had the opportunity to get into his study, took all his pains out in her lap and threw it into the fire and burnt it. Well, for all that, the good man had so great a zeal for the advancement of learning that he began it again and went through with it to that perfection that he hath left it to us a most useful work. A close inspection of Shakespeare's word usage shows that he used Cooper's thesaurus in the creation of many of his plays. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.